never had a full car to myself on the Shinkansen before. again today. Hopefully this will be the last time that I have to go there before I actually move there. But I got some stuff to take care of. Okay, I want to take this opportunity to talk for a little bit about the move and everything that's happening, fill in some details that I haven't been able to fill in yet. Uh, first of all, I am moving to Kyoto to be a teacher at a high school in Kyoto. So I'm still going to be an English teacher. I'm going to have a lot more responsibilities than I currently do. My current job is what is called an ALT. I don't know if I've explained it before, but basically I'm an assistant language teacher, A-L-T. And um, what that means is because I'm not certified to teach in Japan, I am uh, not allowed to teach by myself in a classroom in a public school. So in my teaching now, I always teach with a teaching partner, um, which has its ups and downs. It has its good points and bad points. Anyways, my new job, I'm going to be a full-on English teacher. I'm going to be teaching by myself. It's a private school that I'm going to, so I'll be able to teach by myself in the classroom even though I'm not certified. It's a really exciting new job. I'm really excited about teaching high school because Honestly, as adorable as Japanese little kids are, I'm getting pretty tired of teaching elementary school. So yeah, the school year in Japan begins in April and ends in the following March. So I will be starting in April at the beginning of this upcoming school year. No border, my cat is coming with me. Sorry, my girlfriend is not. No, we're not breaking up though. Um, she just can't come right away. So we're gonna be long distance for a little while, which is gonna be tough, but we can do it. We'll be all right. The kind of nice thing about that for me is it means that I get to come back to Toyama every once in a while um, to see her because I really do love Toyama and I really am going to miss it. All right, that's pretty much the main details for now. It's like 7 a.m. This pack of bros behind me is cracking open a bunch of beers. I love the Shinkansen. Walking around the city, I forget how much I love it because on the one hand you get like these things like the ultra modern Japan and then you turn around and you've got these giant temples and amazing shrines all over the place. It's great. It's a great city. I'm really excited to live here again. Actually, uh, you guys probably don't know this. I don't think I've mentioned it. But I lived in Kyoto for half a year. I did a study abroad program here and I did a homestay. And, uh, man, I loved it here. It's pretty cool to be coming back. Oh, gosh, that was exactly 10 years ago. That was 2006 that I did that. So 10 years later, I'm back. Wow.
two orders of business on my itinerary today. First, gotta go to my new school and become an official employee, sign my contract. Second, I gotta go to the realtor and sign my apartment contract, become an official tenant. And uh, last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my apartment and, and measure out some room lengths and stuff. So, uh, so the next thing you guys will see will be me looking at my new apartment. So you guys can see what it looks like before I get all of my junk in it. Okay, I am in what will be my new house here. Look at this. So this is the kitchen. I mean, I don't know if you guys can get a sense of it, but here's the kitchen. Pretty small kitchen, but there's enough space that I can put counter space here and make it bigger. Connected to the kitchen, we have a room, living room with a closet and a little alcove back there. This back through the kitchen goes into the bathroom area. We got a shower here. Hello. <laughs> and a small bathtub. But I don't really take baths, so that's not a problem. Uh, we got the sink and this door is very old, but inside, look at this brand spanking new toilet with like special control panel and everything. It's like the full Japanese style washlet toilet. And I even have my own little outdoor space which is a little bit dirty but I can obviously fix this up into something if I want. kind of closed off to the outside. It's got a little roof over it, so if it rains, no problem. All right, so that was the first floor. I have two floors, so let's go upstairs and check out the second floor. <laughs> but, ouch. Oh, I just hit my head for the first time in my new apartment. That's probably gonna happen a few times at first because it's an old building. So all of these, like the doorways and stuff, look at this. The doorways are short. Like I'm just standing normally, not on my tiptoes or anything. And boom, right on my head. So I'm gonna have to get used to that. It'll be a lot of bowing. I can practice my Japanese bowing. <laughs> but um, anyways, so came up the stairs into this room here. And uh, it's just like a square room. Window that opens up to, oh, this is, this is very Japanese right here. So this window, let's unlock it here. So you have this like, not really a veranda, but you put a pole here and put it across there. And this is where you hang your clothes to air dry them. Very, very Japanese because nobody uses dryers here. Air dry everything. All right, finally, last room, which is probably where I will sleep, but I don't know. Um, got, this is like, it's a narrow room, but it's long. Let's put this down. This light is not working at the moment, but anyways. Yeah, I can definitely touch both walls. So it's pretty narrow, but it's long, really long. I mean, for a bedroom, that's all you need is just enough space for a bed. And in the other three rooms, I have enough space, so I don't really need to do much in my bedroom other than just sleep. So it's perfect. And then there's also this little alcove here. So like, this room goes like this. And then there's a little alcove here as well. Yeah. So as you can see, the inside is like really nice. Like it's very, very clean. The flooring is all new. They actually like just redid, it used to be a tatami floor, the bamboo kind of floors, the traditional Japanese floors, but now, uh, just last year they redid all the flooring and they put in these floor panels. So it's very nice, 
perfect for a cat because the tatami would not be good for a cat. But anyways, I'm gonna go back downstairs. That's not the right, how do I turn these lights off? This staircase is definitely the most dangerous part though. <laughs> Look at how narrow this is. Like it's really steep. I mean, this reminds me of when I studied abroad here. I, I did a homestay and uh, my host family's home I have a staircase just like this, really narrow. But um, yeah, this is my home. This will be my new home. Obviously, like, there's nothing here now. <laughs> but that's kind of exciting. I'm really excited to kind of uh, put, uh, put my stuff in here and rearrange and have a fresh new, uh, it's, like, it's like starting fresh, it's great. I'm so excited. it for this town for now next time I'll be here I will be an official resident of Kyoto that's nuts unbelievable anyways back to Toyama I go see you guys next time <laughs>